Hello everyone, welcome to our all day pie day, which means we're gonna be here all day making pies for you. And we eating have, them too, right? And eating them too. All right, I'm down for that. Yeah, look who's in the kitchen. He is going to lend two hands and also, he's going to help taste test these when it's all said and done. Two hands, one mouth, one stomach. Six recipes. This is baking pies for the holidays. So my favorites are going to be the no-bake chocolate pie, a pumpkin cream cheese swirl pie, and we're going to make a pear pie with a nice crumble on it. That sounds good. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Can't wait for that one. What are your favorites? Well, I like the, the new one here, the oatmeal pie. Oh yeah. That goes way back. Uh, the buttermilk pie is gonna be my numero uno. And then the traditional- Does that surprise you all? The traditional pecan pie is number two. They're very go. close, very close. All right, three are new, three are our classics. You can find the three in my cookbook, Easy Delectable Dessert Recipes. In there, there's cake recipes, pie recipes, cookie recipes, recipes for the fall, and also Christmas candy. All in this book right here. Okay, I do have a recipe blog, katherinesplates.com, where you can find these recipes yep. and the cookbook. We're gonna get started. Oatmeal. We're gonna do it right. Now, for this pie, we're going to be using the frozen pie crust. You want to show them that package right there? These generally come in two, and they look like this right here. It's a deep dish. You want to make sure that you have a nine inch pie crust for this. So we've taken it out of the freezer. We're just going to thaw it out while we're preparing the mixture. We're going to start with two thirds cup organic rolled oats. Oh, that smells so good. Working with a third, so I'll go in two times. Ooh, I got plenty for oatmeal, yay! All right. All right, now he's gonna add in two thirds cup of granulated white sugar. And then we're going to put in one cup of light brown sugar. And we want to make sure that it is packed really good in there. So we've got a one-third measuring tool here. We'll go in three times. Now while he's doing that, I'm going to come over here and crack three eggs. I'm just going to put them in the bowl right here. That way we can make sure no shells are going in. How's he doing, you guys? <laughs> I'm doing awesome. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add our three eggs. And then we're gonna take two tablespoons of butter. All right, one. And we're just gonna melt it in the microwave. There we go. Okay, we're gonna add our melted butter. And then I'm gonna have Thomas measure out a teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon? One teaspoon. I'm going to measure out some half and half, two thirds cup. And you can get a big whisk. Big whisk. Big whisk. Big whisk coming. And Thomas is going to take the big whisk. We're going to blend this all together. Now this pie is going to kind of be reminiscent of like a pecan pie. My understanding, this recipe goes back like almost a hundred years. Vintage recipe? Vintage yeah. recipe. Got it all good mixed. I think so. Okay, we're gonna pour it into our pie crust. I'm gonna bring over a sheet pan. That way it's easier to maneuver when we need to put it in the oven. There we go. We're gonna go get a spatula. Okay, that was a perfect fit that nine inch pie plate. We're gonna bake this in the oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees for 50 minutes, five zero. Now, you wanna bake this on the bottom rack and about 35 to 40 minutes, we'll take a look at the edging of our pie crust 
And if we need to add a pie ring, we will. Thomas will show you that. It's right underneath the pie press there. You can also use some foil, just wrap it up in a ring, pie ring. a ring shape like that, and then just put it on top of the crust if you need to. We want to have it nice and golden brown. We don't want it too dark. So we pulled this out of the oven at the 50 minute mark. Look at how beautiful that looks. It's nice and puffy. You want to cool this down completely before you dive in. We're gonna start with the second pie, which is the pumpkin cream cheese swirl pie. We're gonna start with the crust. Now I've got my oven preheated at 450 degrees because they want us to bake off the crust first. Now I am using the refrigerated Pillsbury pie crust. I pulled it out, let it rest a little bit. That way it's easy to roll out. You're gonna need a nine inch deep dish pie plate. I'm gonna start it right here, lay it on there. Push all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna get a fork and I'm going to poke all over. That'll keep it from ballooning up on you. I'm gonna go on the sides. We're going to put it in the oven that's been preheated at 450 degrees for about six to seven minutes. We just want a light golden color to it. In a large bowl, Thomas is going to add in a one cup of white granulated sugar. Now I'm using a third cup, so I'm going to go in three times. Three times. And then to that, we're going to add in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And then it says to beat in the cream cheese also, so you're going to add the flour. You want to make sure that your cream cheese is very soft for this recipe. And we're going to be putting in 11 ounces, which is going to be three ounces from one pack, and then a full pack right here of eight ounces, which will give us our 11 ounces. I'm just going to prepare our hand mixer. <laughs> There we go. Thomas, give it a blend. Now you wanna make sure that it's nice and smooth. Okay, we have pulled the crust out of the oven and we're gonna let it sit on the back burner until we need it. Now we dropped the oven temperature down to 375. Look at how smooth that is, good yeah. job. So what we want to do is reserve half a cup of that mixture. It's important that you put it into a small bowl because we'll add something to it here in a little bit, but not right now. And then we'll set this aside to the end of the recipe. To the remainder of that cream cheese mixture that we have left in our mixing bowl here, we're going to add our spices which is one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. We gotta make it smell like the holidays. And ginger? Ginger, you're gonna need a quarter teaspoon. Is that a quarter? Yep. I don't have my glasses on. That's a quarter. Quarter? That's ginger. Here's Mary Ann. That's <laughs> <laughs> not Meg. And then, whoo. We're gonna add in eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. There's Very eight. little, yep, we'll go with that. And then I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ooh, close, strong. We got lots of stuff, woo! Well, Thomas pour. <laughs> that was a Thomas pour on there. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have him open up one can of 100% pure pumpkin. That's a 15 ounce can. While he's doing that, I'm going to crack in three eggs. Bring them to room temperature. Just crack your eggs into a separate bowl. That way there's no shells going in. You want me to add this in right now? Yeah, I'll just add it in. Hang on totally a fine. Hang on a second. Okay, I gotta go throw these eggshells away. Y'all keep an eye on my husband. What? No silly stuff going on. What are you talking about? This is a serious show. No fun. No fun? <laughs> I'm out of here. He's out. All right, I'm going to add in the eggs. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Let's see. Did we get everything in there? We're going to... Do I get to use the power tool again? 
Yes, you get to use the power tool in the kitchen again. Now this is a brand new recipe for us. Yeah. All right, you're gonna go in, you're going to beat that until it's nice and smooth. Take a spatula, make sure you pull down the sides so we can get all that mixed up together. We're gonna stop this. Stop it? Yep. All right. Oh, wait. And then we're gonna pour the I'm mixture. Do what you do. Oh. There. <laughs> I can do it. And then we're gonna pour the mixture into our pie crust here. We're gonna smooth that out. We're gonna bring over the reserved cream cheese mixture that we saved at the beginning. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of milk, half and half, heavy cream, whatever you got. Blend that together. We're gonna take that mixture. We're gonna spoon it on top of the pumpkin mixture here in our pie crust. We're gonna need a knife. Let's take our knife. We're gonna swirl. Kind of sunk down a little bit there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay, we're gonna bake this for 35 to 45 minutes until the pie is set. You don't want it too jiggly in there. You're gonna cool it down for 30 minutes and then we're going to cover refrigerate it for four hours, oh. 375 degrees. Okay, our third pie that we're making is the chocolate pie. This is the creamy chocolate pie. It's found in my dessert cookbook. This is a good one. There's not many ingredients for this one at all. We're gonna be opening up two boxes of chocolate jello instant pudding and pie filling. These are 3.9 ounces each box. Just put it into a large mixing bowl. Woo. I'll have Thomas do that one. I'm gonna go get some milk. We need, I can read upside down, one and three quarters cup. You got it? I'm getting it. Did it get poofy with you? I'm getting, no. No, it didn't get poofy with you? Nothing gets poofy with me. <laughs> Let's see. One, there, there we go, all right. Make sure that the milk is nice and cold. All right, let me refresh my memory here. In a large mixing bowl using a whisk or an electric hand mixer, you're gonna blend together both boxes of the pudding with the cold milk until nice and thick and has that pudding consistency. One, I'll let you do that. All right. All right, you wanna go ahead and pour your milk in. And then beat that up. Beat it up. Cooking is so violent. <laughs> Smash this. Beat this. Y'all are violent. Okay, while he's doing that, let's talk about our pie crust. I am using a chocolate ready-made or a ready crust, whatever they're called. You can find this in your baking aisle near where the puddings are in your store. Now we're going to take off the lid that it comes with and then we'll just take off the paper here. There's a little piece of gum that holds it together. We'll pull that off and then we'll give this a little rinse, dry it off, and it'll be ready once our pie is ready. Man, this thickens up fast. Yeah. There we go. All right. I'm going to put that by the sink. How's it going? You yes, need a hand? Did. All right, let's see. Woo -wee. All right, turn it off. Okay. <laughs> did y'all see that? <laughs> see what? <laughs> okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we're going to place half of the pudding mixture into our pie crust. You can go ahead and do that. And then we're going to spread evenly. All right, and that's good there. And then we'll just smooth it out. Place four ounces of Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Make sure you thaw it out, because that wouldn't be any fun. Cool Whip. Now when I say half, this is eight ounces, and we're gonna put four ounces into the pudding, and we're gonna blend that together. I'm gonna take the spatula and get everything off the sides there, so we can get it nice and mixed. It's getting there. All right, we're good. You don't want to overmix. So we're going to put the remainder of this on top of the chocolate in our pie plate. I don't want to leave them too much. You got oh, come on. 
<laughs> I was all excited. I'll let them have this spatula here. All right, we're going to spread it on top of that chocolate, get it nice and even. Did you see her scrape all that off? I did. He's got enough to, <laughs> he's got the bowl, the beaters, and all kinds of stuff going on. We're going to take the remainder of the Cool Whip and we're gonna dollop it all around. I kind of want to leave like an edging so people kind of know there's some chocolate underneath there. I'm just going to spread it out. There we go. Pass that on. Now I'm just taking my spoon and I am dolloping it around. Kind of give it a nice little texture there. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like that. We're going to get the chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. We got mini chocolate chips. We We're going to sprinkle some on here. If I'd known that, we wouldn't have any. They're right there. Oh. Boom. Here. Right there. You must okay. have hit them well. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Okay, we're going to take some and we're just going to sprinkle it all on top. Yeah, there it is. What do y'all think? That's all you need. Look at that. All right, we're going to place the lid on. It just sets in the refrigerator for one hour. Okay, we're gonna get ready for pie number four. We're just gonna give it a few minutes because that one's that. got 15 minutes left in there. <laughs> we wanna be ready to start the next pie. All right, you guys. Okay, it's ready to come out of the oven, the pumpkin. Oh yeah, it's nice and set. I'm pulling off the ring. I used that the last 10, 15 minutes of the pie baking. Woo wee, look at that. Now we know it's set, it looks delicious. All right, I'm just gonna move it over here onto the rack. We're gonna let it cool 30 minutes. I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator, let it set up. We're getting ready to make the buttermilk pie. This one can also be found in my dessert cookbook. This is Thomas's favorite pie. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got our oven preheated at 350 degrees. Everything's gonna happen in a large mixing bowl. So we're gonna place in sugar, one and a quarter cups. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We're gonna go in with a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yay. All right, you're gonna whisk all that together and we're gonna mix in eggs one at a time. I guess maybe I'll just crack it into the bowl here. All right, ready? Ready. One. One. Two. Two. And three. Three. Boy, come on Sesame Street. <laughs> we got melted butter. This is half a cup or one stick. I cooled this down a little bit. Oh, good. So oh. I don't have scrambled eggs. Right. That's what they say. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Here's the melted butter. And then we're going to add in one cup buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, you can take your one cup. You can add one tablespoon of lemon juice or one tablespoon of distilled vinegar and then fill it up to the one cup line with regular milk. Now I'm using the buttermilk for this recipe here. And then you would mix it up together and then let it sit for a few minutes and then you have buttermilk. So it's really easy to make. Yummy. All right, ready for this one? Yep. All right, we got that going in. It's yummy when it's baked into things, not the drink. Right. And then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Another Thomas pour? No, we don't wanna get it too wet. No, no Thomas. Yeah, you did it anyway. Did it happen? Yeah. There we go. All right, we're gonna mix that all together. Once I'm in your head, that's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take all this out of the way and bring the pie crust over. We'll talk about that. We're using another frozen pie shell. We took it out, let it rest for just a little bit on the countertop to kind of thaw out, and we're gonna pour that mixture right in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a pan, put that on first off. Okay, we're gonna put our pie plate onto the pan here, and then pour it in. And that is all she wrote on this one. No, she's gonna write a lot more because I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> 
This pie may not be shared. There we go. I don't know yet. We're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven. Our oven seems to have been on all day already. Mm -hmm. We're going to bake this for 45 to 55 minutes until no longer jiggly on top of the pie. And it's golden brown in color. Now, about 25 minutes into the pie or 30 minutes, I would take a look at your crust. And if you use, need to use a pie ring, go ahead and put it on top of there so that your crust doesn't get too dark. Okay, we're gonna come back and we're gonna start pie number five. Oof. Since the buttermilk pie is baking at 350 degrees, we thought we would go ahead and start the next pie, which is Thomas's second favorite. It's pecan. Pecan pie and it cooks at 352, so we're going to kind of cook them both together. So in a large mixing bowl, Thomas is going to whisk up three eggs. Now we brought these to room temperature. Now while he's whisking those up, let me tell you about the crust here. I'm using a refrigerated pie crust. You know the kind that comes rolled up? I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. We're gonna let it rest for just a few minutes to soften down so that we can unroll it easily enough. Now, this recipe is one of our classic recipes that we always bring out during the holiday time. Mm -hmm. So it can be found in my dessert cookbook in the Thanksgiving section where the classic pies are. All right, are they nice and whisked in there? Yeah, they're nice and whisked. We're gonna add in one cup of brown sugar and you wanna make sure it's packed. So go dig deep, pull up and just kind of squish it into the cup there. And then plop that in there. Then we're gonna add in some corn syrup. This is a light corn syrup, one cup. I'm just gonna spray my cup. That'll make it easy for it to come out of the cup. Three times. Three times. There you go. As long as that's the third cup. It's a quarter cup. A quarter cup? Then yeah. you need one more. Okay, so we're looking for the line right here for the corn syrup. We're gonna pour the corn syrup in. Okay, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of melted butter. Now I brought this to room temperature because we don't want to scramble our eggs. It's very important that when you add melted butter to eggs in your baking recipe, cool down your butter first. Okay, now we're gonna add in, what are we adding in? One teaspoon, but I got a half a teaspoon here. And that's, what is that? Vanilla. I'm gonna take the pie dough now. It's been resting a little bit. Should I start whisking? Yep, let's get that out of the way. And then Thomas is gonna blend that all together as I roll out the dough into our pie dish here. Y'all let us know down below in the comments what are your favorite pies to bring out for the holidays? Any of the ones that we made? Is there one that we're making that you wanna to add to your repertoire? Okay, you wanna push down your pie crust into your baking dish. This is a nine inch deep dish. How many of y'all make the oatmeal pie? Yeah, that was new for us. I found that one. He was excited for that one. And then it had said it was a hundred year old recipe, but I don't know. Kind of fluting the edges of this pie dough here. Now in the recipe, it calls to add the pecans to the mixture before you put it into the pie. We're gonna do it a little different. Yeah, I think this year I want a smoother inside. So we're gonna skip that. All right, that looks really good. I'm gonna get a fork. Yeah, I get it for you. Okay. There you go. All right, we're gonna take the fork and we're going to Press holes all along the crust here. We don't want our crust to fall down. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is pour the mixture into our pie dough here. We're not pre-cooking it. All right, we're gonna bring over our pecans. These are half 
pecans. Keep going. We can start in the center and spiral out or well, there you whatever. Go. Are you going to make me do it? So we're just going to place these around. I think that's good. Okay, the oven's already preheated at the 350 degrees. We're going to bake it on the center rack for 60 to 70 minutes. You wanna let it cool on a wire rack completely when it comes out of the oven. You wanna make sure that this is set, that there's no jiggle to it when you pull it out of the oven. All right, we're gonna be back. You know, when these two come out of the oven, we still have recipe number six coming. Yep. And it involves fruit. It does. Okay, we've got our pecan pie out of the oven and the buttermilk pie out of the oven, and these are cooling down back here. We took a little break so we could have some lunch, mm -hmm. and now we're going to come back and do our sixth pie. Yep. What is it? Uh, it's a pear pie with a crumble. And we're going to be using it's the uh, pecan pie crust. So this is a ready-made crust. We thought that would be a really good flavor to have with, with the this pears. Yeah. pears. All right, we're going to bring you up here. We're going to show you how we're going to put this one together pretty quickly. All right, while he's chopping up pears here, let me show you what we're using. We have six Bartlett pears, and we had a bowl of water, and I had squeezed in some lemon juice to keep the pears from getting too brown on us. We just took our peeler here, peeled the pear, Cut off both ends of the pear once we had did that. And then Thomas is over here showing you that. Cut them in half and then I give them to Catherine. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the peeler, start at the one end right here, slide it down up in there. And then we're gonna go down to the end where the pit is. It's a very small core there. Whoop, there we go. And that's what you want. And then what we're gonna do is take our knife and we're just gonna start slicing the pears very thin. There we go. I'm gonna put these in the water and then we're gonna finish the rest of them up. I've got some paper towels lined in a large bowl here. We're gonna take the pears that we sliced, place them in there. We just kinda of wanna drain them off a little bit so they don't get our pie soggy. And then I'm just gonna pat them down, just get some of that moisture off. Oh my God, that was good. And then we're gonna start adding everything else. Look mm. at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. To our large bowl, Thomas is going to add a third cup of sugar while I get out our delicious spices. <laughs> so we're gonna add in a little sprinkling of cinnamon. You can do half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna go across the top with it. Then we're gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of some nutmeg, ground nutmeg. There you go. And well, that's then, about all we got. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put in a pinch of salt. Boop. There we go. All right, we're going to mix this all together. Okay, I've got the pie crust. That's our pecan pie crust. It's already a ready-made crust. We're going to pour the pear mixture into the pie crust. We're going to clean the lid. I think everything we got going on smells like the holidays. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay. All right, let's see. Now, this will create its own juice in there. Oh, it's already doing it. Yeah. All right. And it smells wonderful. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to make the crumble. Okay, to make the crumble, we're going to add one cup of all-purpose flour into a medium bowl. And then I'm going to take a stick of butter. You want to make sure that it is ice cold. We're going to cut it into pieces and add it to the flour. Now we're going to add half a cup of brown sugar to the flour. All right, I'm going to put the pieces of butter into the flour. There we go. 
and then we'll take a pastry cutter, cut into the butter, the brown sugar, and the flour until we get a nice crumb for the top of our pie. You got the strength for this after the six pies? <laughs> We'll there, find you out. there you go. There you go. Now, when we mixed up the pears, we forgot the cornstarch, and you need that to kind of thicken up the juices that it makes in the pie here. So we pulled the pears out. My pie crust went with it. <laughs> so I pieced it back together. <laughs> So that's why it looks the way it does right there. He's like laughing at it. It's already me. got almost a crumble on it. I know. It's a crumble on the bottom now anyway. We kind of try to fix that back up together there. How's that looking? Ooh, that's looking good. Yeah, that looks good. Let me see. Now we're going to sprinkle that all over the pear. Make a nice crumble across the top. Hide your errors along the way. <laughs> smile! I am smiling. We're on the last one. I'll be smiling when I'm eating that. <laughs> Both of those oatmeal pie, all three of them. <laughs> we got some in the refrigerator, some sitting back behind us, and one right here. Now, the pear pie will go in the oven at 425 degrees. We're going to bake it for 15 minutes. Then we're going to place a sheet of foil over the top. We're not going to scrunch it around it, just lay it across the top of it. We're gonna bake an additional 15 minutes until the pears are nice and soft. And then we're gonna cool the pie completely before we cut into it. All right, you guys, we'll be back with all six of our pies. We did it. Here's our six pies. We have the oatmeal pie that we did first. Then we had the pumpkin cream cheese swirl pie. We did the the chocolate no-bake pie, the buttermilk pie, the pecan pie, and we had the pear pie with topping and that pecan crust. Okay, we're gonna pick one and we're going to give it a taste for you. Did y'all guess right? Was this what we would have picked? <laughs> After everything we've said, here goes our bite. Oh, do y'all see the cream cheese swirl on this pumpkin? Look at that oatmeal. Here's our bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm ready for the holidays. Oh my gosh. The spices in there. Mmm. Those are good. Wow. Mmm. It's so smooth. How's yours? Amazing. That's the oatmeal pie. Oh my God, that is so good. All right, you guys, give us a thumbs up on these pies. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Bye. Bye.